da 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 And um, we are here because uh, we want to make a little uh, promotion for uh, the new Autodendron project, which was uh, envisioned by uh, our dear Kamlesh Bai, Daji, um, last year in May. Yes. And um, this was uh, how we outlined the plan at first, after he had visited uh, a nearby Autodendron garden and uh, got a lot of uh, inspiration. He said he would like here at Brasane to have in the area between our main house and our meditation hall yes. uh, a plantation of uh, rhododendrons. Which is? Which is, uh, you know, this the main house. house. This is the main house, yeah. And the meditation hall. Yeah. And then it's from uh, the beginning of the parking lot. Which is here, and then yeah. all this area, right? Yes, it's a huge area. And uh, the beginning was about clearing it first, because it was full of all kind of wild plants, such as uh, wild roses and uh, the... I think it's called brushes in English. You can see them out here still, the green bushes. Gul in, in Danish. Yes, in Danish it's and gul. Brushes. And uh, in brushes in, in English, as far as I know, it has beautiful yellow flowers. And um, it's... It's, uh, it's known to take over. It's taking over like uh, the wild roses. Um, both are so-called invasive arts. Yeah. So it was a good part of the plan that we had to do something about that because this is also from the authorities a big wish yes. that we take care of our nature reserve in that manner. But then at the same time we could um, combine it with um, putting these uh, rhododendrons and these are uh, newly bought for the donations that many um, sisters and brothers around the world have given when they have come. Yes. And maybe it doesn't look like much, but as I said, the, the hugest job till now has been clearing the space. Of course. First, with a big machine cutting the roots and the, the, the branches, and then to get it away and get it even. And, um, and then uh, these are the new rhododendrons. And then we have, down by the hall, We have started a little, uh, I call it the road oasis, the rhododendron oasis. Yes. Um, I have some beautiful pictures I will add here. Yes. It's a very, very nice area. Yes. I enjoy to sit there before and after. Life is beautiful when you know Love is all around for you to see Life is beautiful And you see, it's there for you, it's there for me. Open up your heart and you shall find happiness. Come with me. I enjoy to sit there before and after. Satsang mm -hmm. and That's meditation. The idea. Yes. And, and this is so fortunate that we could use some um, old rhododendrons yes. that were used for a uh, previous rhododendron project 20 years ago and they had been left shortly temporarily in this bed near the meditation hall and then for this project we decided to release them and give them space so they are a little bit um, 
shade after having grown so near. Yes. But now they will have space to uh, to develop in a nice way. Because they were planted so, close to each other. Yes. And and I can see some uh, rotos. These are um, partly what's planted in the boxes. That's the leftovers from um, this bed down by the hall, which now again with a new space here will develop into some beautiful flowering plants. And uh, just uh, this week, there were um, an, an old couple, uh, the parents of, of uh, a brother who comes here. They brought uh, lots of, of rhododendrons from their garden because they are changing something and then they had heard about this project. So they need to be put in the soil uh, before winter. So this is uh, the area where we have already planted the new rhododendrons. And then this last part is where we are going to work soon um, to finish before winter uh, to plant this, those rhododendrons standing up there. Um, that we just saw before. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, so uh, what is it that uh, we want to say to people? <laughs> we want to say that uh, we want to say that uh, everybody is welcome to come for a weekend where we focus on uh, finishing this part of the project and it will be from the 18th till the 20th of November, Friday till Sunday and uh, anything is fine from one hour till three days and we will fix something with uh, food and drink so uh, just come. And it will be really really yeah. nice and, and social in, in a yes, good way. and we're going to make a bonfire Oh, that's a nice detail. So, we just threw you into the fire. Yeah. Who doesn't like a good bonfire? Because we have lots of things that we can make a bonfire of. These bushes, the brush bushes, they need to be um, cut so that we can use a new lawnmower we have bought for our tractor. But it's, it's uh, important that we cut these bushes first. So this is part of the project. It will make a nice bonfire, maybe... Uh, and it's fun to cut them. Yes. Because I just joined you yesterday yes. and uh, we, we, we cut down a, yeah. a ghoul a we, we, very over old there. one you did in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Viking style. <laughs> yes. So everybody is welcome, yeah. and they can just uh, write you uh, or call you. Yes, uh, they can uh, just uh, register for coming, uh, coming to 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 the center, or they can send me a mail, Susan at vrat.dk. In this area, Kamlesh Bai he envisioned uh, an, another rhododendron project when he was here last time in May, which is going to be the esoteric symbol with the heart, the star, and the beans, all planted in rhododendrons, magnolias, and maybe roses. But this is later. You can see it on the plan here in this area, this area. So it will be the, the bottom of the heart up there, or? Yes, so something like that. We have to make a plan. But it will be so that people can see it when they are walking on the, on the pilgrim's path. Okay. My name is Maria and uh, I met Heartfulness only half a year ago and uh, soon after I came to this marvelous place and I soon discovered that there's a special kind of magic here that goes beyond my words. Those of you who've been here knows what I'm talking about. And then I came here to stay for one week and Susan showed me the whole place and showed me the mysteries up here in the forest, Valhalla and all the different stones and this this garden, Lund as we call it in, in Danish. And I fell in love instantly with the place and with all that she and others has done for it. But I soon discovered that, that it's a, a 
a really, really big project for one woman and her helpers. She's not alone on it, but it's her responsibility that all of this is retained in a good shape because it's not just easy to keep a garden like this. Plus, uh, plus uh, the instructions from uh, Kamlesh, which are other assignments that just maintaining the whole place and garden. So I really think that we should help her. She needs hands and that we've already been working. I've been working a little bit with her already here in the garden. And it's just so, so much fun and such a nice way of being together socially as well. And, and you get the energy of the place and uh, it's, it's really just a gift to help. So it's a total win-win situation, which is why you, of course, if you have the time and feel like it should come to this uh, working weekend or whatever we want to call it, from the 18th to the 20th of November, 16. And it's voluntarily, if you only want to come for two or three hours, it's marvelous. If you want to come for one day, it's perfect. If you want to come for three days, it's also amazing. And remember, you can also just be responsible of the bonfire or something more light and easy. Or you can sit here in the water area and relax under a tree. See you there. Da, 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 da. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you can sense all the glory and the magic of this place. I felt it as I took those pictures here. And these are from my prolonged week there at Brassene. There's such an amazing atmosphere of love and care and it felt like coming home for me. If you've been there, I know you felt the same. My mom is no longer with me, but it was sure as feeling like the same kind of care as when she was there. Unconditional love. So um, this won't be the last time we invite or Susan invite you for helping her in the garden. And uh, I sure hope that you feel inspired to come because it's pure healing and yeah. it's pure fun and social joy. See you there.